Hey, it's been a while. I did try and upload an, a video, um, but like my head was chopped off like here, so it was like, oh no. So I tried again another day, so. Oh man, there's so much to update you on, so I'm gonna like place you in like a good spot and then I'll get talking. Okay. Hey. Right. Hopefully this is in my face and like my head and it chops off. Um, oh, okay. So you on there. Oh, God. Okay, looks kind of good. Right. Oh, man. So much is happening. And. Ah, oh, God. There's a lot of like feels that I have right now. Okay. Right, I'm gonna look. What am I? Okay, yeah, right, so the epic process. Email my documents about a couple of weeks ago. Um, they're all good, they're all accepted, they're all passed and um, they're being recommended. And I've got no outstanding documentation that I need to send, which is great. Um, now it's just a waiting process, really. Um, so, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just kind of like researching a bunch of stuff. And you know to get myself ready, but I'm kind of tired today and like this whole epic chat's like popping off and everyone seems really prepared I'm just like, oh my head! Um, so yeah, epic documents. Passed. Woo! Um, what else have we got here? Oh yeah, just airship work. Um, think yeah! Like things are happening at work that somehow I've become involved in like it's not the biggest deal it's just like little just random work like how people are with each other at work and like how I don't really like that and like, I want to you know put myself outside the situation and not get involved in all the pettiness but like I somehow I'm I'm being affected by it and like I don't want to be but I am I don't know how to, you know, stop it and like not become affected by it, um, because it's kind of annoying and kind of unnecessary because I've got so many other like stresses and important things, you know, like in my life, um, and how I've come to the realization. I kind of already knew this, but like I forgot it and then I've realized it again how the way you act towards people either allows them to manipulate you or you get along with them. Um, I kind of knew that already, but. Um, I'm kind of rediscovering it right now, which is good, but like, oh man, the time that I hadn't discovered it was such a... Mm. Um, so yeah, just random work stuff that's just kind of like getting me down. Um, what else have we got? Oh my god, yeah, this like epic chat that's like popping off. Um, there's like 67 people in this chat, there's always 300 messages, like it's super helpful, but also super anxiety inducing and stress um creating because like so many people seem to be like prepared on another level um, and i haven't even got the recommendation yet from you know um whoever in korea is gonna what school is gonna accept me um so yeah people are like oh, what suitcases do you bring in what this and that cereals and stuff like that i'm just like i haven't researched that yet it's so unfair um so yeah, it's kind of like getting me stressed out a lot, like, it's really helpful, there's this new guy who just arrived in the chat, who's really good, um, and he's been really helpful, just kind of like, saying shit how it is, um, which is good, because you need like, like, um, a, like a good, you know, direction for all the fluff that seems to happen in this chat, it's kind of fluff, but sometimes like, you just need someone to be like, this is how it is, um, so yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, I was like, how many suitcases do you bring in? And I'm just like, oh, I'm bringing three. And I was like, I don't know how many I'm bringing in because I've never had to move to another country before. And like, am I prepared to do this? Um, like, oh, what's it gonna happen? What, how do you, you know, interchange, exchange international currency? Um, how much do I need to bring? I need to do all this research. But the thing is, I'm so tired today that my anxiety and overthinking kicks into overdrive. And I just get like ridiculous and like super stressed out and like I can't deal. Um, so that's fun. That's fun things to deal with. Oh my god. 
Um, that's that. Um, what else has been happening? Life update, life updates. Career. There's so much career stuff happening. It's good though. I chatted to my friends over there. Um, I keep chatting to them every now and then though, so it's good. Uh, yeah, I've caught up with one and who, which I haven't caught up with in a while, which is good. He's doing good. Um, what else has been happening? It's like a big thing that I want to tell you right at the end, but like, we were, I don't want to tell you that until the end. I want to kind of like, see all the other things that have been happening. I worked a lot last week. That was the thing, I need money. Um, for, oh yeah, I need, yeah, I need money for like various flights and stuff. Um, a new phone, I want to get some vaccinations. I like talk to the nurse about what vaccinations I, sh I should get. Um, so that's the thing. I've been looking at like Japanese encephitis, encephitis, um, that one. Um, rabies as well, and like it's a, like a load of the injections like on the are free on the NHS for people who are living in Britain. Um, but w whoa, the ones that are not on the NHS are expensive. Like whoa. Um, so yeah, I got to talk to the nurse about that one and like explain my situation and see what she thinks. So that's that. Um, yeah, so I need to hear back from the old Epic Coordinator to see if we've got a placement. Like, he emails me saying if you have any questions or queries about this in the meantime and I feel I should make up some... Actually, yeah, I do need some queries and stuff. If I don't like have any specific ones because I research it myself but I feel I need to make up questions just to send to him so he knows I'm still interested. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, the weather I hear is super, it's getting super cold, like my hands are really dry, my lips are really dry, my face is like all tight and dry and I was like, I need to update my moisturising routine. Um, so yeah, um, oh. Let me, uh, I'm gonna see what's going on in this chat. Whoa, 15 messages. Talking about a new subway line being built and will open next year, it's called the Gold Line. Seems, uh, good. Seoul and Busan are quite competitive. Yeah, they are. Yeah, just people think, people think. People are talking about all the stuff they prepared. Oh my God, I had to delete so many apps and just randomness to, you know, per make room for this damn group chat. Um, because my phone was like this. I got I was like some got some like old ass phone. It's only got like eight gig on it. It's so like <laughs> inferior. Um, but yeah, so I need to delete a lot of stuff to make room for this chat. But I've written it down, so when I get a new phone, I can update the apps and stuff like that. So, oh, fuck. Oof. Woo. There we go. So. Yeah, I've been writing down all my stuff, like banking information, suitcases, random culture stuff, work work culture and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, currently a lot of my thoughts are on this epic chat, which um, it's good, but like it's very stressful at times. And it's going to keep being stressful until I get there and understand how I work in Korea, if I get a place in Korea. So yeah, that's that. And the last thing I wanted to say was my friend, who I've known since we were four years old, um, remember being in nursery dancing together, walking around with Miss Pamela. Um, she got engaged yesterday and um, so yesterday I'm gonna throw out some dates here so yesterday is not a vague concept of time yesterday is the 12th of November 2017 Sunday um, she got engaged in Paris um, how great is that um, yeah apparently her boyfriend was planning it since April he wanted to do it on top of the Notre Dame, but like they went in there and the Notre Dame was so touristy and like I remember when I went it was really busy. 
So they kind of didn't want to do that. He wanted to like go on top of the Notre Dame and propose and I mean like, boy, you know, you know what's up. Um, but yeah, they went back, I think they just did it in private. So yeah, and the ring is so really small and delicate and intricate and like very like my friend's personality. Um, well, she's kind of like stronger. She's, she's, she's a strong woman. Um, but it's kind of like Disney theme, so that's kind of like where it comes from. So, yeah, and I was like, my friend called me and he was like, Have you seen the news on Facebook? Have you seen the news on Facebook? I was in the middle of watching a K-drama. It's okay, that's love. Um, so then he was, I was like, the last 10 minutes of the like, This better be an emergency! And then he was like, She's engaged! And I'm like, <gasps> So it was an emergency. <laughs> I grant him that. You can interrupt K-drama. For that kind of an emergency, so it's okay. Um, yeah, then I watched the end of the K drama. Um, oh, the end of that episode, and then like the guy asked the girl to marry him, and I'm just like, when art imitates life. And then my friend calls me from Paris, and we're talking, and I was having a chat, and I'm just like, I'm feeling all these emotions, and I don't know where they're coming from, because like I'm not in a place in my life where marriage is on my mind. Um, or like relationships and stuff. So like, I don't really know where all these emotions are coming from, like like happiness, like whoa, we're adults and there's like a lot to think about when you get engaged and like get married. Um, so yeah, man, like in our friendship group, I would not have thought her to be the first one to get married. Like, but hey, <laughs> hey, life. I wouldn't even thought I would apply to this epic program and go like teach in South Korea, but like, you know, life happens and yeah, like it's totally unexpected, but I'm like really happy for her. So she's coming back next week and I wanna, you know, call her then and like hook up and get, well not hook up, but <laughs> eh. Um, yeah, just like get together and like have a chat. I wanna like get her a little thing. So that's it, that's that like, and I don't really know if I... Like, yeah, I'm totally happy that she's found someone, you know, in her life, but like, weirdly in another part of my brain, it's just like, oh, the patriarchy marriage. But then on the other side of my brain, it's just like, well, she can do whatever she wants with her life, and it's not up to me to say what she can and can't do. Um, or they, because there are two people. Uh, yeah. So... Yeah, I've got like weird conflicting feelings about it. Like it's a, definitely like a big thing that's happened because it's like the first person of our friendship group is like getting engaged and like big life things are happening. So yeah, that's totally a big thing. So yeah, I think she says she's gonna have like a long engagement because her sister's getting married next year. So they want to like have time in between like the weddings to you know save money and like get a good venue and like prepare. So yeah, that's that. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be in Korea when it's gonna happen. Which I don't know. Life, man, life. Um. But yeah, I mean, things happening. Oh yeah, I need to check with me with a friend because he has. He said he has some news. So yeah, that's pretty much what I can remember to update you all on. Um, my lips are like dry as hell, man. I need to put some Vaseline on there and like my face and my hands. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was, I think I don't know if I'll pop into town today because like the Christmas markets are set up. So <laughs> I want to pop in there with my friend, my other friend. But I mean, if you watch my videos, then hey, I've missed you guys. Hey. Um, yeah, if you want to, I don't know, if you want to chat about anything that I've talked about, like epic or like work issues that everyone has, um, or if, like any, I don't know, like life realizations that you have and like what you think about it, um, if any of your friends have got engaged or had babies or anything like that, um, or moved into a big house and like if you're kind of like there with them, if you're kind of feel a bit weird and distant to the whole situation because you're not really there, like just leave it, leave it all in the comments. Um, Cause I think it's just good to just like have a little chat every now and then. So yeah, if you, you know, 
if you're here to the end of my ramblings, uh, it'd be really cool if you click the like button. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to, but like, why not? Um, yeah, leave a comment on anything that you feel interested in. Um, and if I need to, I'll leave any links in, in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, all right, thank you for listening to my babble and I guess I'll just see you on the next video. I'll see you whenever I want to upload and I hope you guys enjoy your life. All right, bye!